popped out the town car with a camera, said, yo, Puff, yo, you gotta let me film this, the whole thing. We need to document this, Playboy. He was like. Jamie Foxx suffered a very serious medical emergency that landed him in the hospital. We have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. We are gonna stop this guy. He's not gonna hurt anybody else. For the last few days, celebrated comedian and actor Jamie Foxx has been fighting for his life literally. The relatively healthy and fit Foxx shocked many when he was reported to be unresponsive. Eagle-eyed fans now have a reason to believe that industry giant Diddy is behind the actor's problems after Foxx exposed some of Diddy's dirty secrets of the past. But with the actor now on his way to recovery, sources close to him reveal that he already has a plan on how to get his revenge on Diddy. So, what are some of these secrets, and how do the actor plan on launching them? Let's find out. Most people want to go to a celebrity after party to rub shoulders and mingle with whichever stars are in the house. The likes of Jamie Foxx and Fabulous have been to several such events before, but it appears both feel some of those parties weren't all they were cracked up to be. Fabulous, for one, recently took to his Instagram story to share some candid tales about him running off on his celebrity friends at their events. Sometimes the situation calls for an Irish exit, and it had to happen, according to him. But the man bearing the bag of secrets when it comes to Diddy's dirty secrets of the past is currently in the hospital fighting for his life. Apparently, Fox knows how to ball out on a budget. In a late show with Stephen Colbert's appearance, he recounted a story from back in the day when he regularly hung out with Diddy. During the peak of Diddy's hype, he would throw parties that ran up a bill of around $1.5 million. Never one to shy away from a challenge, Fox told Diddy he could throw a party just as good for $400 in doing this time. He learned, witnessed, and recorded things he shouldn't have, things that probably left him bedridden. But it only gets better from there. At that very same $400 party, complete with KFC on nice plates, coke in a pitcher, and booze from Fox's garage, there were some fresh-faced names in attendance who would later become heavyweights in the music industry. Names like Farrell, Jay-Z, and one Kanye West before all the global stardom. As the story goes on, Fox revealed that this was when and where both he and West decided to collaborate on Slow Jams, a hit track that would later rocket to number one in the US and international charts and pay a pretty tidy sum to fund more than a few subsequent $400 parties. I'd imagine. This just goes to show, an open-door policy with parties can pay off from time to time. You never know who just might roll on up and change your entire life. What is known so far of Diddy's parties, according to those close to Fox, is just the tip of the iceberg. He plans to go on a full-out attack once he is fully recovered. In the past, Fox revealed how he managed to escape Diddy's gay parties. Diddy's bad boy records is responsible for his seemingly endless supply of riches. He signed some major artists like Notorious B.I.G., French Montana, and more. But let's be honest, if there's one thing Diddy enjoys more than generating hits, it's hosting the craziest, most extravagant parties imaginable. And bad things happen at those parties, talk of drugs, sex, gay affairs, and even child abuse. Diddy lives to throw parties and puts everything he has into planning spectacular affairs that everyone will be talking about for weeks. You can expect Diddy to pull up all the stops for any party, be it a birthday celebration or a 4th of July celebration. Inevitably, everyone and their friends want an invitation to his famed white summer parties. Everyone was excited, even Paris Hilton, who was invited to the first one. I remember the first party he threw in the Hamptons, Paris Hilton tells THR. It was iconic and everyone was there. Oh, and don't forget to make your guest lists, pals. Over a thousand people have been known to attend one of Diddy's parties, so guests are expected to look the part. Consider the well-known white parties, where attendees are expected to wear all white. Lucky Martha Stewart attended one of these events and raved about how seriously the guests took the dress requirement. Having an entire party all dressed in white was a stunning sight, says Martha Stewart, a guest at the first party. And it helps that Diddy looked very handsome in white. It's no secret that Diddy is a control freak, therefore, it comes as no surprise that he has banned guests from his gatherings for wearing inappropriate footwear. Black footwear is explicitly forbidden at any of Diddy's parties. What a snob! But let's be honest, not every one of Diddy's bashes is appropriate for publication. This guy is known for hosting parties that will make your head spin with their bizarreness. One courageous individual, however, is willing to spill the beans on the weirdness that has occurred at Diddy's gatherings. But what is that Fox may be holding and that he plans to spill once he recovers? We can only imagine part of it. You have to realize that Diddy's parties are the very essence of exclusivity. These exclusive parties are only open to a hand-picked few, and once you've been invited, you're pretty much obligated to turn up. 
After all, Diddy has made quite a name for himself in the music industry, and anyone who crosses him risks seeing their career end. But you do know the old adage, right? More money means more issues. For Diddy, that means throwing the biggest parties possible. When it comes to buying everything, he wants girls, drugs, alcohol, you name it, this guy doesn't skip. Let me tell you, the tab for his private parties runs into the millions. But why bother keeping it a secret? He told Jamie Foxx how much money one of his wild and crazy parties cost him. When it comes to throwing a party, Diddy certainly has the chops, although not always in the greatest way. Jamie, for one, considered these parties to be a waste of money. You don't need a cool million to have a great time tonight, a couple hundred will do just fine. Diddy was not pleased to learn Jamie disapproved of his party planning. He was hurt by the suggestion that he was frittering away his money, but hey, he's an adult now. In fact, he turned to Jamie the following time he was in town and begged for his assistance in planning his own party. That's what we call a comeback. Since Diddy was a music industry mogul, Jamie had no choice but to attend his extravagant parties. These events were not only extravagant in cost but also a breeding ground for odd conduct, presumably arranged by Diddy to satisfy his sexual desires. Diddy was a totally different person at these private events than he was in public. There was much curiosity regarding his sexuality after he was spotted acting like a couple with the late Tupac. Diddy has never come out as gay, but his parties frequently took a strange turn. Jean, his former security, has spoken publicly about Diddy's alleged sexual adventures, including the time he found Diddy naked in a hotel room with another young rapper after a party. Even after being caught by his own security, Diddy didn't seem to be bothered. Tupac wasn't the only male artist who Diddy was rumored to have made passes toward at these events. A few of the rappers spoke out about Diddy's sexual overtures toward them. 50 Cent's inclusion on this list is probably the biggest shocker. Even the prominent rapper wasn't protected from Diddy's questionable behavior, even though he was a highly unlikely target for Diddy's advances. The rapper has joked about his time spent with Diddy at one of these events, quoting him as stating, 50 was taken aback when Diddy asked him out on one of his famously lavish shopping excursions with his girlfriends. This, however, is only the beginning. As an adult, Fifth was able to turn down Diddy's approaches, but not everyone is that lucky. Recently discovered frightening videos show Diddy in a monstrous light, Usher was placed under Diddy's mentoring at age 14 before the release of his debut album. When Diddy hosted the then-promising young talent, Diddy began sleeping with Usher. Some believe that Usher's mother discovered the truth about Diddy and their weird sexual relationship and confronted him after reading about it from Kim Porter, Diddy's ex-wife. Diddy also exposed Usher to a wide range of vices and pleasures, including drugs, women, and sex. Ed Lover recalled an incident in which he encountered Diddy in the company of a young man. The identity of that youngster was revealed to be Usher. Diddy obviously doesn't care if his parties expose children to all sorts of inappropriate material. The artist has finally realized how far out of touch Diddy's childhood antics really were. He went so far as to say he would never put his own children through what he had. Speculation persists that Kim Porter was murdered because she allegedly filmed evidence of criminal and disturbing behavior at one of Diddy's parties. Diddy's empire would fall apart if these tapes were made public. Those who manage to escape Diddy's gatherings alive are a rare breed indeed. People who attend Diddy's parties are often shocked by the amount of drugs, alcohol, and sex that occurs there. Diddy records many videos during these events, but he rarely shares them with the public. We have to wonder if something even more terrible is at play. If things weren't as awful as they seem, why would Diddy be willing to sacrifice his ex-wife? Jamie Foxx has apparently been able to dodge Diddy's raucous sex parties. Maybe he will soon reveal the truth, warning budding rappers to stay away from them. Many people believe that Diddy is desperately trying to conceal his sexuality, among other secrets. One Reddit user expressed it, saying, Here's a lot of evidence and I believe it. There's a video with him and Kevin Hart and Usher where it looks like a dildo is in the bed and Diddy says some questionable things about him and Usher. Kevin said a little too much. There are also rumors of what he made artists do to get a deal, which I think is standard in the industry. Eric Marlon Bishop, better known as Jamie Foxx, recently checked into a hospital for treatment. Her favorite actor apparently had stroke-like symptoms, but the media has been mum on the specifics. What caused it, how much damage it inflicted, or anything else is a complete mystery. Jamie Foxx's sudden, serious illness has producers scrambling on his movie set and beyond, and TMZ is getting conflicting information about the movie he was shooting back in action. Even without confirmation from authorities, public belief is that the emergency was severe. According to reports, Jamie and Cameron Diaz were in Atlanta filming their upcoming movie, Back in Action. Relatives from far and wide made the trip to be with Jamie as he dealt with his health crisis. It must have been very serious for close relatives to fly in from another country. Since the actor missed the final eight shooting days, TMZ says the movie may not be finished. TMZ has learned from reliable sources that the actor will remain hospitalized while doctors investigate the cause of his condition. However, it has been suggested online that Fox suffered a stroke. 
We all know this is really serious, but no one has been able to confirm it officially. Due to the actor's awful condition, fans are worried that the film would have to be completed with the help of props. To clone or not to clone? It appears that the Jamie Foxx clone has everything he needs to complete filming on Back in Action. But the big question is, is Diddy maybe the assailant that wants Jamie Foxx dead for outing him as gay? As far as we can tell, Diddy outed himself as gay in Blood Orange's Hope. As the video draws to a close and two men are seen walking hand in hand, Diddy comments, Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid? To be left the way? Like, I really want to be left. But then I know how I really want to be loved. But I'm, but I'm, like, scared to really, really feel that, you know, it's like you want something, but you don't know if you can handle it. The music mogul continued, Maybe one day I'll get over my fears, and I'll receive. Even if Fox did reveal that he witnessed some ugly incidents during Diddy's parties, he is not solely responsible for Diddy's sexual awakening. A 2017 video of a drunk Diddy calling another man daddy surfaced again as online discussions about his sexuality heated up. During the interview, the founder of Bad Boy Records claimed that he never really went out drinking with Fabulous. We partied from my birthday before. You came to my party, a confused Fab said. 50 cents ran that Diddy came during the drunken interview. He says to Fabulous, me and you, we need to party. What are you talking about? When people say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. Fiddy later explained in an interview on The Breakfast Club. He said something to me a long time ago at Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me he'd take me shopping. The G-Unit star added, I looked at him like, what you just say? Let me move, man, before I do something. You gonna make me mess up the wedding. No, that's something a guy says to a girl. Exhibit, meanwhile, talked about the one time he went with Diddy to a gay bar in 2009. When he found out what kind of club it was, he ran away in shock. We leave the club directly. I didn't say peace to nobody. It was suspect, he said. Diddy once made a blunderful admission that he slept with Usher. The internet has been rife with speculation that Diddy is gay for quite some time. People in the years before the year 2021 unfairly labeled him as gay. The rap star was automatically assumed to be gay because he never addressed the topic. However, the level of trailing was mild. Then, in 2021, he made a post that opened the door for people to speculate about his sexuality and troll him by claiming he was gay. On the day of the BET ceremony, it occurred. There was a performance by Lil Nas X, who was hailed by Diddy on Twitter for his work. The upshot was that his adherents began making fun of him. Diddy wants to kiss Lil Nas X now. Be fearless, Diddy. Come out of the closet and show the world it's okay to be gay. Stop playing like you're not. One fan tweeted. Another added, Diddy is definitely gay for that tweet. If Jamie claims someone is trying to take him out, we can all guess who or what to look for. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thanks for watching.